All right, it's a new day. It's a sunny day. And my voice is returning, which is great. And we're about to leave to Batao Rice Terraces. And it should be epic, as usual. Wait, right, so later today, we're gonna leave because the weather has been kinda up and down. So we, we've booked the bus at 5 p.m. to Manila, and then I'm gonna go to Cebu Island. I haven't booked my transport to Cebu Island though, but it's a eight hour bus ride, no, nine hour bus ride, sorry, to Manila, and then from there, I have to figure out how to get to Cebu, and then I'm just gonna chill, beach, go diving, just have fun. <laughs> we are on our way. I'm not sure about how far we're gonna drive. It should be good fun. First viewpoint of the day. Not bad. Not bad. Come on. Got a little uh, photo session going on up there. <laughs> Smile. having a balcony like this that view is pretty decent all right we're on the move and we have about four hours until we have to be back and we decided to go without a guide <laughs> so I'm not sure how that's gonna go but you know it's all part of the adventure we're basically just walking down at <clears throat> this like narrow path in our flip-flops <laughs> it's going great, guys. Yes. Man, that's a lot of stairs. Definitely worth it. Because, I mean, rice terraces, mountains, cracking on. Man, this is insane. Okay, so I think over there, is where we're going <clears throat> for the viewpoint and then <clears throat> I'm not really sure where we're going from there but all I know is I would definitely recommend doing the Batad trek because it's really amazing man this is absolutely insane I would definitely recommend this to anybody. Unless you have, like have issue walking, then it's All right, so we made it to the viewpoint. It was up there, and we have about 45 minutes to the waterfall and then it's over an hour to get back so we have to get going now. Up there, that way, 
where the girls are. That's where just were. Man, my, my legs are shaking. The sweat is in my eyes. The only thing that's positive is that it's not good. It's not good and uphill for now. But man, seriously, this is what I live for. I, I just love this. this. I would not trade this for anything in the world. Well, maybe other than other adventure stuff. But, yeah, but other than that, no, I would not trade this for anything in the world. I just love exploring. Adventure time is the best time there is. Man, this is such hard work. The sun is out. And I think we went the wrong way. Wait. Did we go the wrong way? See? Uh, wait, hold up. Man, those steep stairs are gonna freaking kill me. He's exa exaggerating. It's for the vlog. I can barely breathe and it's so fucking hard. But I figured that I should vlog this. All right, we're almost there. Somewhere over there on the, there on the mountainside. Here's where the highest viewpoint is. Ah, we, we made it. Ah, and now we're gonna go in a van and go back to the hostel. And I think we're just gonna chill at the hostel before the bus. Now we have nine hours on an AC bus to Manila. And then I'll go straight to the airport in like five o'clock in the morning and I'm gonna go to Cebu. Today was an awesome day, man. It was everything I wanted, I think. So we're just waiting for our driver to, <laughs> to finish his beer. And then we're going back to the hostel and then we have a nine hour bus ride to Manila. So I am going to end the vlog here. You know what to do, give it a like, all that jazz, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Or unless I have bad internet, then you'll see me when I have internet again. Peace. So it's 2 a.m. and we've arrived in Manila. <laughs> we're the only ones on the bus right now because we asked if we could sleep on the bus so we don't have to go to the hostel at 2 a.m. And they said, yeah, so we can stay here uh, until like six o'clock in the morning, which